Hello again, everybody. This is Art at PrepAgent.com. We're going to continue with more math, everyone's favorite subject. And this time we have a sixth investment question for you to solve. Samuel Lang purchased a property at 20% less than the original listed price of the home and later sold it for 20% more than the original listed price. What was Samuel's percentage of profit? So here's what we need to do. Let's look at the formula. The profit made divided by the amount invested will get us the rate of return. So since we don't have a list price of the property, let's use $100,000 and then we'll find the purchase price. So it's purchased at 20% less than the list price. So what is 20% of 100,000? So 100,000 times 20% is $20,000. So we basically subtract $20,000 from 100,000 and the amount purchased is 80,000. So now let's figure out how much it sold for. It sold for 20% more than the listing price. So 100,000 times 20% is 20,000. This time we add 20,000 to the list price of 100,000 and we get 120,000. So now that we know the purchase of 80,000 and what it was sold for at 120,000, we can determine the profit made. So 120,000 subtract it, uh, subtract 80,000 from 120,000 and you get $40,000 of profit. So looking at the formula here, you have $40,000 as a profit made. You divide that by the amount of 80,000 invested. So 40,000 divided by 80,000 will give you the rate of return and the rate of return is 0.5 on your calculator. 0.5, when you move over the decimal points into a percentage, is 50%, folks. So there it is. Samuel's percentage of profit was 50%. How many of you guys got that right? Well, hope you understood this. Hope this makes sense. This is another work of art at prepagent.com. Thanks.